A novel new study shows that TMG mimics the effects of exercise, basically acting as a workout in a pill. Now, the popularity of TMG has been soaring. It's about a $100 million industry worldwide. It's probably even higher than that when you include all the supplements taken in Asia that aren't always counted. And that's expected to double in the next five years. Interestingly, NMN is selling about three times that much. Again, if you believe the industry estimate, which are probably even higher. So there's a lot of opportunity because it's recommended that you take TMG if you're taking an NAD booster like NMN. I've done that since the beginning, taking NMN. Yes, it's tough to kind of know the improvements that I'm experiencing from one or the other, but they do synergize together. And the studies out there tend to be about just one or the other. I've not seen a study yet that included both TMG and NMN, which I find quite frustrating because most people I know that take NMN do take TMG with it. Now, this new study is quite novel because it is a study that includes humans and mice. On the human part of the study, it was exercise related. And they first had them run for three miles and then tested their inflammation levels, which went up. But then after another 25 days of periodic running, their inflammation reduced. So longer periods of exercise improve your inflammation numbers or reduce your inflammation. What also happened over that longer period of exercise is that their betaine levels increased. Betaine is another name for TMG. TMG has been more popular lately. It's the scientific abbreviation for trimethylglycine. Normally, historically, when it comes to vitamins or supplements, betaine was the preferred name for a long period of time. TMG had gained popularity lately, maybe because the popularity of three-letter supplements has increased, NMN, NAC, now TMG, AKG, but nonetheless, the names betaine and TMG are interchangeable. Which brings us to the mice part of the study. Now for the mice, what they measured was, what if we just give these animals TMG only and don't have them exercise? they still saw their inflammation levels go down. Matter of fact, their senescence reduced in the brain, muscles, and heart. So it was throughout the body that inflammation was reduced by reduction in senescent cells. The results suggesting that just taking TMG or betaine mimic the results of exercising over the long period of time, over long term. Now to experience longevity benefits, they had to give these mice the TMG for three months. When they did it for three weeks, the levels didn't improve as much. But when they took it over that longer period of time, which also mimicked what happened with the humans, then they started to see the results. So it is of note that you do need to take TMG for a longer period of time to get most of the results. Now, previous studies have shown that TMG improves muscle strength, heart health, reduces LDL, cholesterol, and blood pressure and also reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes. It is important that you take a pure form of TMG. Many supplements have fillers or don't have as much as they say they do on the package, so you wanna be careful there. I get all my supplements from Do Not Age. I get my TMG and my NMN and all the other supplements in the description that I take from Do Not Age. You can go there with the links below. You can use my code PULSE. You can support this channel a bit and save 10% in the process. Now, the gurus out there, many of them take TMG. It's interesting that both David Sinclair and Brad Stanfield, who are on opposing fences of NMN and NED boosters in general, but both take TMG. Also, Dave Pasco takes TMG. He takes three grams of TMG per day, which is, I thought, quite a bit. But David Sinclair points out if you're going to take a gram of NMN, you should match that with a gram of TMG. Because I myself have been taking 1.5 grams of NMN over the past year, I finally decided to to increase my TMG based on these different studies and based on some of these gurus taking more TMG than I am, I decided to go ahead and take 1.5 grams of TMG going forward to match the level of NMN that I'm taking. I'm curious how much you're taking. I'm curious how long you've been taking it. So leave a comment and let me know. And I do appreciate you watching. I'll link you to that other TMG video that I made recently. And of course, I'll be back again soon to report more.